The bridge collapse has caught the attention of multiple colleges and universities that house civil engineering programs. Auburn University is no exception. Two professors have analyzed the collapse and made this really a teachable moment for their students. WSFA 12 News reporter Monique Stevens has that story. Video of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsing was a shock to many across the country, including Auburn University civil engineering professors Matthew Yarnold and Andy Novick. Fortunately, the bridge had been mostly shut down before the, the impact, um, but that was the first thing was just the amount of loss of life for a, a structure of this magnitude. A very rare event, but of high consequences. Dr. Novick compares the situation to the Sunshine Bridge in Tampa, Florida in 1980. 35 people were killed from that collapse. This was almost like repetition of what happened then. Uh, the, the bridge type was similar and the accident was similar. The engineering experts say that the infrastructure's design was not the cause of the fall, pointing out the protective structure known as a dolphin did not protect the bridge from the cargo ship's impact. And the way the ship managed to proceed uh, and impact the pier, unfortunately, missed the dolphins and, uh, and, and hit one of the reinforced concrete supports. Yarnell and Novak are making this event a teachable moment for civil engineering students at Auburn, constantly doing case studies and projects on previous bridge collapses. They learn a tremendous amount about bridge behavior and the way bridges should be designed, assessed, and managed. You have to design the bridge to withstand a direct impact, which is a very large force, and it would make the structures much more expensive. It is cheaper to build a strong bumper. Setting future engineers up to solve real world problems. Monet Stevens, WSFA 12 News. The engineering professors mentioned that Alabama bridges are considered safe, but they say this tragedy points out the need for lawmakers to focus their attention on infrastructure.